Hi guys, so I'm in Prague and Hi. you already know my sister from some of my other videos and this time we have this whole box of Look Japanese Japanese goodies, yay! My sister already saw them and obviously I saw them when I was ordering them <laughs> Anyway Maggie says that she already pretty <laughs> God damn it, bro. <laughs> she, she already forgot most of the stuff that she saw when she was unboxing it originally and I definitely don't know what's in here anymore. So let's see. Let's just should we just go randomly? Yeah. Uh, Cats. It's a sign. <clears throat> a lot of Japanese newspapers. Okay. So first Jenny is this. Oh, so it's like um, kind of little hard. It looks like hard candy, but I'm not sure. It's like kind of. Ugh. <gasps> Three out of ten on deliciousness scale, but nine out of ten on makes your face look like an asshole scale. Okay, let's fix this with the chocolate. <gasps> Yay! You might have seen this in one of my past videos but this is a special edition it's like a Japanese autumn harvest edition so I think it has a sweet potato um, chestnut um, mm. pumpkin and dark grape let's see so yeah. just like last time it has these little pictures on it that kind of tell you <clears throat> what's <gasps> So this is the grape one. <laughs> I thought we were going half first. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It doesn't taste like grape, but it tastes like quite nice chocolate. Mm. <laughs> mm. A bit like it should be the yeah. same flavor as this, <laughs> but it's it's pretty different. And this is the pumpkin one. It really ta takes a lot of time for the flavor to come through. It's like, it's just a hint, really. It's I feel like the last look chocolates were a lot um, more prominent in flavor. Okay, so this is the chestnut one. That's one. Gosh done. Gosh done. Well, it does taste kind of like gosh done. Mm. Which is um, it's. Uh, quite a traditional Czech Chips chocolate meat. bar, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. like you know, I think that it's a French thing as well, and definitely a Hungarian thing. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. this one is the sweet potato. No, just mm -hmm. no, these are all really quite nice as the chocolate. But the flavors just almost don't come through at all. Mm. It's like the opposite of this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> this, I serious. I think that I got this as like a free bonus with my order, and I have no fucking idea what this is. It has <laughs> a little like a little demon on it. You see here. It has, ooh, it has 40 milligrams of vitamin C. So it's good for you. Looks like so. Mm. Mm. It's like chew chewy gum. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well, it's like, okay, okay. it's like, um, like a Mentos. Okay, let's cleanse our palate yeah. with these Pringles. They sound a bit broken. I think it's curry. It's probably like Thai curry. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Yeah. Mmm. It's really tasty. It kind of has a. Mm, yeah, it mm. actually has quite a nice Thai Thai green curry flavor. 
almost like a yeah like coconut milk and garlic and chili mm. it's really nice um mm. not better than petra's green curry but okay okay okay. Mm. okay so this is kind of traditional it's um azuki chocolate and for the ones of you who don't know azuki is the traditional red bean the one that you know is, is featured in a lot of traditional japanese sweets so this seems like uh the red beans covered in dark chocolate but it's really pretty it's really pretty look Oh, well, this just shows you up the gross table we're doing it on. <laughs> uh, me. Like mm. water shake. I like it, yeah. It's kind of nutty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, I did order this simply for the packaging. These are supposed to be sesame chocolates. So let's see. I wonder if there's two kinds, but probably not. It just looks like there's, you know, light ones and dark ones, but I think they are all the same flavor. And they are... Oh! Uh, ah. like it's delicious. delicious. And nutritious. Delicious. Okay. Yeah. You have the cute little panda. I will have to write you one. Oh! oh. It's white. Okay, so it's oh. white. And I think that it's, mm -hmm. it's gonna have a... Like a... Sesame paste in it. Mmm. Mmm. It has mm -hmm. mochi in it too. Mm -hmm. It has a layer of mochi. Mm -hmm. And on top of it, a mixture of both dark and mm -hmm. white uh, sesame uh, seeds. Oh. Mm, it's very really nice. I like it. And a tiny little banana Oreo. Is, is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah. Last time we were trying the matcha green tea one. Green tea. <laughs> matcha green, green tea. <laughs> <laughs> and they were really nice, right? Mm -hmm. I I really like those. Um, so. Ooh. Mm. Oh. Nice smell. Oh yeah, it smells mm. very strongly of banana. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. 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 Banana chocolate, mm. There's just sort of green. There's another um traditional <laughs> traditional Czech chocolate bar which is banana chocolate, which is basically like one of those um foam bananas that they have in like you know northern Europe, Scandinavia. And this tastes like it but just like different texture. Okay, I have no idea mm. what this is. I think it's, it's some sort of it. chewy candy. And it's adorable. Oh. Mm. It's like some sort of weird tamagotchi, and here's an old dude on it. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're gonna see this. Freaking! Okay. <laughs> okay, let's have another one. <laughs> mm. I think that's chewing gum. I can't tell what the flavor is. Mm. Maybe it's not chewing gum. It's melting. It's not caramel. It's not a It is a bit like. um. Which word do you yeah. want to have these? Mm. Uh. I think these ones were more like the traditional, like a Mentos type candy. And this is kind of like if Mentos had kids with a jelly bean, that sort of texture. If that helps you in any way. Okay, so these look adorable. So these are the um, Tum Tum uh, branded biscuits, it seems. It kind of seems like the, you know how last time we had the biscuits, the pizza ones. Uh, it seems like it's the same, but these ones will be delicious. <laughs> they're the cutest, they're so fucking cute. I just noticed now that it's honey lemon. Mm. 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 It's quite nice. 
for me it's a bit sweet to <laughs> balance the palette uh, here is some sort of cheese snack yeah it's clearly supposed to be a good beer snack too I think it's squid I think yeah I think it's squid flavored sorry <laughs> It does smell quite a lot like fish food, but... Open wide! I'm, I could eat this with, with beer. No problem! Okay, two last ones. Uh, I think this, this one is the one that we got for free too. Um, it seems like just some sort of... Traditional candy and it's the, oh yeah, this is the the whistle candy Which you're supposed to kind of like put in your like between your lips and try to whistle through it So let's see if we can do it. I can't whistle without it. So maybe I'll <laughs> finally be able to whistle for the first time ever I don't know what this is but Toy? Hmm? Oh. Little car. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those fructose tablets you can get in like a pharmacy. You know, for like sports, and totally not for just getting a hyperglycemic shock as a kid. Okay, I don't think that my sister realizes this, but this, ladies and gentlemen, is actually salmon flavored. So yeah. Yep. So this guy, you probably know, he's like a cartoon character, one of those like you know, um, popular Japanese cartoons that just. You know, generates a lot of merch and most recently also this chewy candy that's flavored like salmon. Have your own one. <laughs> so you can see that it's colored like like a block of salmon pretty much. The skin and the meat. <laughs> <laughs> but it's sweet. Mm. It's not something that tastes just like salmon. It's like candied as you also put salmon flavoring in. And it's not great. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to live your dreams. <laughs>